Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. So as y'all know, we are currently on the Carnival Luminoso, which is in Alaska. We are right outside of Juneau, which is going to be our very first port of call. I'm very excited. My dad's never been on a cruise before. We had a sea day yesterday and he is still adapting, but he's very excited to get to Alaska. It is his favorite state. Um, when I was born, we lived in Alaska. And so he's been here way more than I have, but he was in the military and he never got down to some of these places like Juneau. So we are actually going on an excursion today. We're going to be taking a helicopter out to, excuse me, I will butcher this. I'll probably learn it by the end of the day. Mindenhall Glacier, where we are going to go dog sledding. So wish me luck. I will bring y'all along for as much of the ride as I can. They did say sometimes in the helicopter, you're not allowed to have your cameras out, but I will capture as much of the day as I can. And if I can't capture it, I will show you pictures and tell you how it goes. But I'm very excited. As y'all may or may not know, I have Meniere's. Um, so I get very, very motion sick. I have a seasick patch on and I have meclizine that I take for motion sickness. This is my first time on a helicopter. I've flown with my dad when I was little and I've been on lots of little planes, but never a helicopter. My dad was a helicopter pilot, so he's very excited for that. Um, but we'll, we'll let you know. Pray for me. All right, we're gonna go meet up with everybody else in the theater. That's where all of the carnival excursions meet before we get off the boat. And I know I can film that, so let's go to the theater. This is literally the view from our balcony, guys. There is snow up on the mountains in June. There always is in Alaska, but still. Can you imagine? living right here to the theater we're coming from the back of the ship all the way to the front number two for today and the theater's around the corner but all these guys are waiting for our tickets we'll get off the ship so let's go we can keep going this way thank you what you're going to do is you're going to get the elevator to deck number one, and then we're going to have our amazing team there that will be able to get a reserved elevator to take you down the rest of the way. So if you can't take stairs for any reason, just make sure you speak to our team and they will be able to. All right, we are on the ferry. So the way it's working today is the boat is actually out a little bit in the pier, in the port and they have a water taxi from one to four and then the boat's docking and you can get back on directly onto the boat from the port. So, water taxi. Here is the whole port, so we came. Pandora is back here. And we got off our little water taxi down there, but you can see that some of the ships when they dock just have their own pier, which apparently our ship will come dock at four. Maybe it's switching out with the spirit. It's strange to have two carnival ships, one port. But we're just gonna walk around, see what there is to see. Walking along, you can see we're directly in front of the Spirit now. And there is the second Pandora store. The gal at the first Pandora store said there's three in port here and they each have their own exclusive charms. So the igloo one was theirs and that's the one I got. I like the igloo. We're gonna keep walking around. Do you wanna cross here, Dad, or you wanna go further down first? We'll cross here. We've got all kinds of stuff.
these are cool. I like the little whale tails. All right, we are walking back to the pier. Checked out all the shops. And the third Pandora store is right here. Very cute, very cute. So right in there. We're gonna head back and meet up with our tour group to go get on a helicopter. Wish me luck. Finally made it. Apparently we've got some clipboard stuff to fill out. And then we have to get on a helicopter. So they gave us these glacier boot covers to go on over our shoes. Got a whole bunch of them. And then we put all our bags in these big lock boxes. You can only bring your binoculars, sunglasses, hat and gloves, and your camera. Ready to go, I guess. So we made it to the dog camp on our helicopters. It was pretty good. And they started feeling dizzy at the very end, so I'll take it. And now we're waiting for our dog sled. Uh, how did you like the helicopter, Dad? Zero to 10. 10 being awesome, zero being you could have flown it better. Well, I could have flown it better, but it was awesome. Only reason I rode in a helicopter but at least now there's dogs. So we're gonna go around, I guess, and uh, then probably get back in the helicopter. Overall, it said this tour was two and a half hours, but it's hard to know. You know, I'm sure that includes helicopter time and the safety briefings they gave us back for the helicopter and here for the dogs. So, so far, so good. More than this. Food way better than Oh. This break here, and it will just keep this sled from running into me there. Leaning, um, the trail's pretty good, but if you feel the sled tipping um, one way, lean the opposite way, just to keep it level. And if it's a big cur 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 curve, 
crow turn, um, then I'll tell you to lean a certain way too. Okay. That's basically it. And every time we take off, it's a pretty big jolt, so hold on tight. And that's it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to set up front. I don't know what he's doing. Does it train a, teach to train on those kind of things? Uh, it depends on the dog. Generally, I would say it takes uh, probably a year, I would guess, to have a really good leader. That makes sense. Up, 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 up. Let's go. deep here but we're keep taking some breaks and then we'll go back to camp the dogs just want to run He lives up on a mountain, so he gets a lot of snow. <laughs> I live in Alabama. There's no snow. No. But we've lived all over, so. Okay. He's military.
I have really bad balance. I have Meniere's, so I will just fall right over. But thank you for asking. We are done uh, with the dogs. Got to pet them all. And we're gonna go see the puppies. Puppies and pictures. Two pictures, and it was one for 30 or two for 50. Awesome. Keep yeah, that in mind. We have Buttercup. Ooh. What's his name? Batman. Batman, of course. And how old is he? He's 10. Be a long commute to Alabama. Dad, you can't come home with another dog. We already talked about this. Boat is docked, tour is over, going back on the ship. It is about an hour past dinner time, so we're gonna eat, and then I will be back to tell y'all final thoughts. See you in a second. All right, y'all, we are back from our tour. It has been a long day, even though the tour was only from about three to about 5.30. It said it was two and a half hours, and it was. So we had a really good time because the ship was actually over there and then moved to be ported. Um, they took everyone off the ship via water taxi at one, which meant we had about two hours to walk around and explore downtown Juneau, um, which I was planning to do afterwards, but it worked out just fine. We just had to make sure we were back at the dock by three to go take our tour. I enjoyed it. I was worried that the helicopter was going to be a scarier and be really make me motion sick. And definitely at the last couple minutes, we were on the helicopter about 15 minutes one way. Last couple minutes when they were landing was the worst. But other than that, I was perfectly fine. And that was with my ears, my inner ear disorder. I have a seasick patch on 
and I took some medicine before getting on the plane. Now my dad, who does not get motion sick, was fine the whole time, so take that for what it's worth. The dogs were great though, and our musher, um, Caitlin, was very knowledgeable. She said that she has 35 of the dogs up there are hers, her responsibility. She feeds them, takes care of them. She picks her own team every day. They switch out the teams every three tours so that they have new dogs. And I mean, if you watch the video, you know, they just love to run. Every time she stopped them, they were just ready to keep going. So they were so much fun. And it was a lot of fun to get to pet them and stand on the dog sled, which my dad did. I sat on it because your girl does not need to fall off. Not a, not a thing I need to experience, but it was fun. And I liked that they had different uh, levels, I guess you could say, if you wanted to try standing or if you wanted to sit the whole time, there was an option for both of you. The actual dog sled uh, run wasn't as long as I necessarily would have liked for the price of the entire excursion, but it was fun. We did enjoy it. And then we did get some pictures afterwards. So all in all, it was a really fun day and a really fun excursion for the price. Would have liked a little longer of a helicopter ride and a little longer of a dog sled run, but overall we were very happy. So I hope this helps you if you're looking at booking this cruise. Um, we really enjoyed both the helicopter pilots and the dog sled mushers. They answered all our questions and they were really nice. So, oh, and they stamped us. <laughs> We're gonna go get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the ship is going through the Tracy Arm Fjord. There's only one excursion. You get off the big boat, you get on a little boat, and you go closer to the whales and the glaciers and the wildlife, and we're doing it. So we'll take you with us. Bye, y'all.